Hi, this is Pete uh, with Wrap My Spider, powersportswraps.com. Today we're going to show you how to put on our shape cut uh, Bellardine isolated graphics uh, decal for the front trunk of the Canium spiders. So we just uh, taped it up briefly uh, to dry set it on the front here. A couple things you want to remember before you start your install. Um, as far as application, you want to be in a controlled environment, uh, preferably between uh, 60 degrees and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, like I said, controlled environment so that you don't have dust blowing around. Of course, uh, before we get started with any of our installs of our vinyl products, you want to always prep your surface using uh, isopropyl alcohol and regular kitchen paper towel off the roll. And you're going to thoroughly clean the surface to make sure that there's no wax um, or silicone of any sort on the application surface where you're going to be putting the graphics. So once your surface is prepped and ready to go, uh, your spider, Bellardine spider kit or decal is going to come in uh, basically like this on backing paper. This is a shape cut graphic, so those legs are individual and not attached to the body but there would be no reason to separate them before we apply. So the way this uh, graphics kit is made is you have basically three layers. You have the bottom paper layer, which will end up being garbage. This is the adhesive side of the decal itself. And then this clear plastic material is the transfer tape. The paper and the transfer tape will end up being garbage when we are done with our application. The transfer tape is what keeps the spacing of the graphics all together and holds that into position. Again, after you squeegee it out, we'll show you that both of these products are garbage. So to get started, we recommend that you uh, trim the uh, decal down um, in a manageable size. And then what we like to do is uh, cut out a void here. Uh, that will help with positioning the body and we do that on uh, basically both sides of the decal and you have that nice body line in the middle of that front trunk or trunk that you're going to use for positioning now for the sake of this video I'm not too worried about positioning because this one isn't going to stay on the bike but we did want to show you technique so normally what you would be looking at when you're aligning um, of course, this can face up or down. For this video, we're going to have it face down. But basically, you have the body line that runs vertically. And so you want to basically center the spider. So you have the two pinchers of the spider uh, between the body line there. Try to be in the center of the body here. And then try to uh, make sure, too, that the legs are e uh, even, even amount of area between here and here. So once you have it in basic position, you can tape it into place. Now we're going to use a, a vertical hinge to uh, put the spider into position. So this vertical hinge is going to allow you to apply the graphic um, in sections, half and then the opposite half. So here's our vertical hinge, which allows us to peel back half of this side and half of this side when we do our install. The tape is holding it into position, so wherever you tape it is where that uh, graphic is going to stay. So that's why it's important to make sure now that you're happy with uh, where it's positioned and you like it and if it's square on the unit. So once you have it where you like it, you're going to peel back half of the graphic to the transfer tape and cut off your backing paper which will allow you to be able to squeegee it into position. So again, this is the adhesive side of the decal. And now we cut the paper away, so that will allow us now to begin to squeegee. So you're starting from the center of the decal, and you're working out toward the outsides. Now the nice thing about the film that we're working with is it's quite forgiving. In other words, if we have to, we can pick it back up and reposition it. So squeegeeing from the middle, as you see, I can, I can work it and pull it up. But the whole idea is to put the transfer tape down smoothly without any bubbles or bumps. 
And we're doing this video in real time so that you can see, uh, you know, about how long it takes. So now we're at the, the this corner, the crest of this body line. Once you've squeegeed up to the edge, I usually take my finger and work the film um, over top of that corner edge to ensure that it lays down and you don't have a gap. So once you get to the other side, you can again squeegee that, those legs down into position. So now we have almost uh, one whole half of the graphic applied. So then you're gonna take your center hinge away and peel back the second half, removing the backing paper. And then basically we're gonna repeat the uh, step, starting where the graphic has been squeegeed down and working our way to the center hump, over top of the center hump, and again back to the outside. So again, you're just working it into position. Now, <clears throat> if, if you get some wrinkles in the transfer tape, as long as they don't uh, go into the graphic, you're okay. Um, keep in mind, you can always pull the film back up and reposition and continue to squeegee. So we're hovering over top. If in fact you get to a point where you have a bunch and it seems that it might be affecting the legs, you can uh, use this trick, which is to peel back what you have applied, I'm taking it all the way back and off that top leg, and then continue squeegeeing. I'd rather show you what type of complications you can get into to help you see how you can get out of those uh, than have you run into any kind of trouble. So that, that leg's down. Uh, also, there's another technique that can be used to loosen up these legs, and it's called a relief cut. Um, so these are all methods to help you if, in fact, you are kind of squeegeeing yourself into a corner. So if, in fact, uh, you are having trouble with the transfer tape uh, buckling and not cooperating, you can do a relief cut, which is to separate it. See, now we basically um, put a relief cut in the transfer tape so that... Uh, the area that has been applied isn't really affecting how we're squeegeeing. So again, you start squeegeeing up to the curve. Use your finger to uh, go over top of it tightly. And then again, continue on. And squeegee it down. So then it's best once you have it down to go back over it, re-squeegee it. Um, so now the decal has been applied, but you still have the transfer tape on it. So what you do now is you carefully uh, take your transfer tape, and it's best to peel it back on top of itself in both directions. And you can see we have really good bite as far as the uh, decal is concerned on the surface. So pulling the, the film back on top of itself, making sure you're not pulling up any edges in any areas. So we have successfully transferred the Bellardine Spider onto the front trunk. And as we mentioned at the outset, your transfer tape is garbage, your paper is garbage, the decal has been applied. This is the actual surface of the machine showing around the spider. If you'd like, it's always good to put a little bit of heat on it to help the adhesive take its permanent bond. Or you can set the machine uh, in the sun and it will do the same thing over a period of time. So those are the basic steps on how to apply the Bellardine Isolated Spider. As you can see, it's relatively simple. It's bubble free because of the type of film we're using. We're using an air release film and it has a top uh, protective laminate which would give you years of durability on the front of your spider. So my name is Pete. I'm with Power Sports Wraps, uh, wrapmyspider.com, and this is our Bellardine Isolated uh, Can-Am Spider Front Trunk uh, Decal. It's available on wrapmyspider.com, and you can also get it in a matte or a glossy finish.
So we thank you for watching and please let us know if you have any questions.